Radicular pain is caused by the inflammation or compression of a spinal nerve. L4 L5 radiculopathy specifically follows a pain pattern as shown. A common cause of radiculopathy is due to a disc herniation. This can be confirmed via slump test. In a seated position, allow your upper body to slump forward and extend your leg. Slowly bend your foot back towards you, then away from you. Perform this with both legs. If the pain is reproduced in either of these positions, that is considered a positive test. Extension-based exercises are used to help relieve symptoms associated with disc herniation. Begin by positioning yourself prone with a pillow or two under your chest. Allow your low back to extend slightly. Hold this position for 5 to 10 minutes. All of the following exercises should be done 10 times every 2 hours when you are awake. It is important to follow the progression that will follow. Start with lifting your chest off the pillows for 10 repetitions. Extend at the low back keeping your hips and elbows engaged with the surface. Next, press up with your hands and allow yourself to extend further back keeping a slight bend in the elbows. Again, make sure your hips are engaged with the surface. One set of 10 repetitions is recommended. Now press up with your hands and fully extend the elbows. It is important that your hips remain touching the surface. Lifting the hips off the table is incorrect and should be avoided. Rounding the shoulders forward is also incorrect because it can lead to shoulder pain. To add overpressure, exhale deeply when fully extended. If you have a left side herniation, you may extend back with the lower half shifted slightly to the left. If it, it is on the right, shift the lower half to the right to then extend. Follow the same progression as before. This exercise can be performed while standing if you are unable to lay down. You can apply overpressure by placing your hands on your back as shown. L4 L5 radiculopathy can also lead to tightness in the hip musculature. A common muscle involved is the piriformis. Tightness of the piriformis may compress on the sciatic nerve and also lead to pain traveling down the leg. The piriformis can be stretched in the seated position. Cross the painful sized leg over the opposite knee. To intensify the stretch, push down the knee. Hold this position for 30 seconds and perform 4 repetitions. To further intensify the stretch, sit up straight and lean forward. Rounding your back and leaning forward is incorrect. If your radiculopathy is due to a disc herniation, rounding your back may increase your pain. You can also stretch the piriformis by laying onto your back. Cross the painful sized leg over the opposite knee and pull your leg towards you. Hold this for 30 seconds and perform 4 repetitions. To progress this stretch, reach through completely and grab just below your knee. Core strengthening should also be performed. Bird dog is an excellent exercise for core strengthening and stabilization. To begin, start by being on all fours with your spine in alignment. Maintaining a tight core, raise your right arm straight out and hold for 5 seconds, then lower it back to the starting position. Repeat this same step with the other arm. Continue alternating arms while maintaining a straight spine. Work up to 10 repetitions on both sides.
Next, perform the same exercise but with the legs. Maintaining a straight spine and alignment, hold for 5 seconds then lower back down. Repeat the same steps on the other side. Be careful not to raise your leg too high that you are rotated. To progress further, raise your right arm and left leg simultaneously. Be sure to keep your core tight and to maintain proper spine alignment. Try to hold for 5 seconds in this position. Perform the same step on the other side. Work up to 10 repetitions on both sides. For additional resistance, dumbbells and ankle weights can be used. Try to maintain optimal alignment and a tight core. Hold still for 5 seconds in each position and work up to 10 repetitions on both sides. So we can continue to make these free educational videos, please subscribe to our channel.